Hello mi gente bella and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be super colorful, fun. If you're a When Wild fan, if you love the Care Bears, then this video is for you. Most of them I got at my Walmart. I ordered on their official website. It took them two months and a half for me to get these products. We're gonna focus on diving into this makeup look. So I had to redo this because the audio was terrible, but that's okay. We're gonna do a little reset button and we're gonna start first with one of my favorite uh, eyeshadow bases and this is the P. Louise Blend Canvas. A little bit goes along with this. I'm gonna put it a little bit here on the back of my hand and I like to use my ring fingers. I'm gonna apply this all over my lid and also on the lower lash line. Okay, let's just go right ahead and start with this palette. This is an eye and face palette, which is amazing. I love to multitask and I love this because you have different finishes. You have your mattes, your shimmers, your glitters, your satins, marble style all of it i'm gonna jump on by using this morphe makeup by ariel brush this is a small detail brush and i will leave everything down below i highly suggest you these brushes because they're amazing we're gonna start with this blue shade i'm gonna dip it in top of the axis and i'm going to sketch a little graphic liner is so i want to make sure that i'm really packing on the color i must tell you right now it's a lot of fallout on these eyeshadows it's okay because i'm used to it when it comes to my Wet n Wild palettes that I purchased but the color is absolutely beautiful and I'm gonna bring this just a little bit above my crease because I want to make sure this is more noticeable okay we're gonna move on to the next shade which is one of my favorite colors it's a nice green teal turquoise shade and I'm gonna use actually the same brush I will use the other side of it and I'm gonna apply it right next to that blue shade oh yes the fallout is real but it's actually kind of looking artistic if i was to leave it like that and now it's time for us to play with some shimmers or some glitters because i'm up for that so for that i'm gonna try to use the flat shader brush and i'm gonna jump onto the shimmer and i'm gonna apply this right next to the previous shade I'm noticing with this brush is picking it up but not as much as i wish it could have done I'm just gonna use my ring finger because usually when it comes to shimmers, you have a little bit more luck doing that. And yep, just as I suspected, so much better. This is Mariela, right? Let's see if I have better luck with this brush. Okay, it's getting there. The next shade, we're gonna use this gorgeous lime green shade and it's right here. And I'm gonna go back with a small little detail brush because this just makes such a difference. Wow, this is beautiful. All right, the lid is officially done. Now I'm gonna focus on the lower lash line. It's gonna be super easy. I'm gonna go back with this beautiful blue shade. And on the remaining of my inner corner, I'm going to use, let's see. I think we should just jump onto some glitter and we're gonna use this one right here and it's called Cheer Bear. This way, I think it adds a little bit more dimension to the eye look, which, ah, obsessed. And last but not least, we're gonna move on to the last shade and this is gonna be this marble shimmer. You know what I'm gonna use, the same A118. All right, we finished this side, now we're gonna move on to this side right here. I'm so excited. We're gonna jump onto this matte purple shade and again, I'm gonna use the same little detail brush because it's doing everything for me. This time I'm gonna do something different. I'm just gonna start looking on the lower lash line and then going up to my lid. That way it's much easier. We're gonna fill out this area. It looks like two little fishes right here. This is Nemo and I don't know which one this is, but she's looking cute. <laughs> we need to add a little shimmer, so we're gonna go ahead and use this shimmery purple. You guys, I've been missing so much doing makeup tutorials that honestly, I love doing these looks where it's full face. A lot of people don't like makeup tutorials like 12, 15 minutes, but honestly, I do enjoy the whole process. I like to speak to you guys and connect with you instead of doing a 15 to 30 second tutorial. You guys let me know down below. What do you guys want to see next from me? Next, we're going to move on to this matte pink shade because we're going to do purple some pinks on this side. I am going to try to use this one because I feel like I haven't used it. Okay, now we're talking. It is packing it in. With the shimmers, you guys saw that I was really struggling. Thank you for working with me. Lower lash line is on and we're going to move on to this glitter right here. Do you see this? It just fell off. 
okay, it's okay, it's okay, don't worry, we got this. Yeah, this is a nice touch to add the glitter. Just to add a little bit more balance between my lower lash line here and now this one has to compete. And last but not least, we're gonna move on to this marble shade. And I'm gonna apply it right on the inner corner with another detailed brush. This is a Jackie one, Jackie Morphe collab. Oh, she is pigmented. I was not expecting. I think I put a little bit too much. I got a little bit too excited. I'm just gonna blend it out. Much better. All right, I did a little bit liner and I wanted to try the cleansing balm. It does smell like blue raspberry, which it's like frozen yogurt. I can't even describe it. I have a lot of fallout and you know what? This is gonna be the best time for me to put this to the test. Let's see if this is gonna melt and remove some of this under eye messiness. Well, so far it's breaking it down, so that's good. Now let's see. All right. And it's even gonna give me that extra crispiness that I was looking over there. Look at this, so clean. Let's do the other side. Perfecto. All right, now we're gonna move on to the lashes. This is uh, their mascara, and also you have the eyelash curler. It has a nice little like Care Bear chunk right here, which is adorable. So the brush is your traditional brush, nothing exciting. So let's put it to the test. You can see instantly right here one side, and this is the other one. And this is one coat. It's not getting clumpy. Oh my god, you know what I should have done? I should have used the lash curler first. But honestly, I wanted to put this to the test to really see if it was going to lift them. It did lift them a little bit. Then I used this up for the lash curler. My lashes are so tiny that I know you can't see it, but I know what I'm seeing right here in front of me. I do see them that are nice and perky. So let's just go ahead with the mascara. That definitely did help. So I would definitely recommend the lash curler. The final touch for the eyes is gonna be the lashes. These are perfect for this look because they're a little bit subtle. Let me know down below, how are we feeling about this look? Do we like it or do we love it? I did a little color correcting using my LA, Co LA Girl. Yeah, I used the LA Girl color corrector in the shade orange, as you guys can see, because I have a lot of hyperpigmentation. I had this little bad boy that came a couple of weeks ago and he's gone. Rest in peace. Now we're gonna move on to the foundation. Now I don't have the Wet n Wild foundation because I had to throw that. The Makeup Forever HD Skin. This one is in the shade 3 White 40. I was a ride or die for the Makeup Forever HD foundation, the OG, but they changed the packaging, I believe. If you guys want me to do a review on this, let me know down below. Now this particular sponge is a changing color one. And with my the warmth of my finger, and also if you use hot water, this goes from purple to this baby blue, which is absolutely adorable. So soft and so squeezy. And I did use this to set my color corrector with some translucent powder. It's like a kabuki small little brush, but I want to use this as foundation because I just want to see what it's going to look like because I want to make the most of this, you know? Now what's so cool about this brush is it has the, like the little snow tube effect right in the center of the brush handle which is absolutely adorable first impression right on the bat i love the fact that is the bristles are so soft i've had many wet and brown brushes in the past and they never disappoint now i'm going to go right ahead and use the sponge because i want to make sure that it absorbs the remaining of the product and then we're going to move on with a little concealer since we're here I'm baking a little bit on my nose and I already decided to put a liquid lipstick. I did not pick any of the lip glosses, but this one is one of my favorite ones. It's by Jacqueline Cosmetics. <laughs> Love so many of her products. You guys are sleeping on her liquid lipstick and her lip liners if you haven't used them. I'm just saying, just letting you know about it. Also, if you guys would like me to do a video featuring my favorite Jacqueline Cosmetics products, please let me know down below. Anything from Jackie, I'm on it. Now we're gonna move on to the bronzer and it's called Live, Love and Hug. Adorable with the heart. We're gonna use this beautiful, I can't stop shaking it. Just gonna give you a nice little bone structure just to find it a little bit more. Now for blush, I wasn't able to get the blush but and i wasn't thinking of ordering it again from the wet and wild so to use that was the whole shenanigans. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this matte pink shade. 
as a blush why not this palette did say that it was on face and eyes so we have to multitask might as well take all the baking that we did okay now on to the most fun which i absolutely love is the highlighter it's called let your light shine <gasps> it's the sun i love it and i'm gonna use this morphe brush this is the m6 110 it's a fan highlighter brush which i actually been loving a lot this came out i believe almost two months ago don't sleep on these ones as well I look like a glazed donut, you guys. I'm obsessed. It's catching it in every single level that I can think of. So the makeup for me, it's done. You can absolutely stop in here and just call it a day. But because I'm gonna do this summer carnival festival look, the sound effects in the back, it's real. I'm gonna use this glitter gel and this one is called Face to Shine. You can use it for the face and body. So we're just gonna go and dive in. And because I want to take it to the next level, I'm just going to apply it right on the highest points of my cheekbones. We're going to move on to this beautiful gemstone that I'm so excited to put it here on my forehead. Thank you guys so much for watching for sticking to the end. Don't forget to let me know down below who was your favorite Care Bear. I was committed to this look. I put the nails on everything. Thank you guys so much for watching and until the next time, I'll see you on my next video. Mwah. Besitos. Bye. <laughs>